So um, as, and we're kind of already talking about it, but as, as you guys have been through recovery uh, even longer than I have, I think I'm in year five, year 400 for Rich, year 10 for Nick. Uh, I think we're going to have to keep circling back to that year 400. That's good. Um, what are things that we can keep doing as group members to keep doing, uh, going through recovery and healing? And maybe let's take a step back from just pure desire resources, but what are practices that you guys have done as group or are ending, your groups are ending, that you put in place and have really helped you keep going on recovery? You know, I think you get into this routine for 10 months. So I always encourage those guys, make sure you stay in that routine. And even now that they may not be doing the homework, but still, you know, make sure that, okay, if you, if you've carved out 30 minutes a day for homework for 10 months, you know, stay in that routine, be in the word for 30 minutes, you know, just yeah. kind of keep that pattern. Yeah. Um, and then the other part of that is I think for me personally, uh, once a group is over, even if a group is done and there's and guys are not, you know, they're going to take a break. Mm -hmm. uh, I still encourage them. If, if you're not in a group, at least do the faster scale. Yeah. At least go through the journal and do, right. and get a new journal and keep the journal going while you're waiting for the next group or yeah. whatever that is. But yeah. I think you got to keep the same routine because yeah. it's so easy to replace all that time mm -hmm. with some negative stuff that right. got, got us here in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Well, and we've said it a lot around pure desire that, you know, group, and the meeting times might take a break, but healing and recovery doesn't yeah. take a break yeah. because our addiction doesn't take a break. Right. And the temptations we face in this world aren't going to go away. And mm -hmm. we don't we don't become superhuman where we don't need to be attentive to what right. God is doing in our life and what he's moving us towards. And so I think that's always the question is, what are the principles that I've been working on in this group that need to continue? So that's things like being vulnerable with other men in my life yep. that I can call. So phone yep. calls continue yep. or it might transition more to you know a guy that i meet once a month or once a week for coffee and mm -hmm. or to pray with someone on the phone um what does it look like to continue leaning into my marriage if i'm married and into that relationship yeah. and dating my spouse and working right. on true intimacy there that's more than just physical it's yeah. that emotional connection so yeah. those are really the focuses whether someone continues in a formal group or not yeah to say how do i keep using these principles and if yeah. someone really that, that to me is the other kind of decision point is if if someone thinks about it and they say yeah if, if i'm not in group i'm probably not going to do any of that mm -hmm. then you need to say then you need to keep yeah. in group because yeah. these haven't become normal these haven't become the way you do life yet right. and that's really what we're aiming for is a new way of doing life so if a person looks at the future and says yeah i Boy, I think I've, I've got really healthy patterns with my spouse. Those are going to continue. Um, or, and this, or a gal could say the same thing. Sorry, I use guy generally. Um, they're saying, I, I can see how I've got connected, connection with friends, that I can be honest and vulnerable, people I can reach out to if yep. I am triggered. Like, if they see that that system of health will continue, then you might say, I, I think you're ready to not yep. have group. Yep. Um, but if, if they're not aware of how they'll do any of that, you say, I, I think you need to keep in this system. Yeah until those things really become cemented in your life. It's kind of that idea that you're, you're still really wet cement. <laughs> yeah, right. And if you stop group now, That's you're good. just gonna mold into something different that right. probably won't be healthy. Right. Let's give a little more time for these to really set in your life. Yeah, and I, I mean, we've talked about it a lot um, because two things are coming to mind. One, this is where leading a group really is, it really can be, especially if this is your first or second time through group, it can be that next layer um, and I mean, for me, I know this isn't the story for many people, but I, I led a group, my first group, um, and that was its own train wreck. But I think that uh, the second time leading a group, it was this like, oh, okay, like I'm starting to see some things. I'm starting to connect some things that I didn't the first time. I'm starting to see things. And now that I know what to pay attention to that are helping me in my own recovery. So I think anytime we can, we'd encourage people, like we've already said, lead a group. It's a great, um, it's a great thing to do to help other people, but it's also a great thing to do for your own healing and recovery. And then another thing um, that we now have made live at the point of this recording is that we have supplemental counseling, that if you've been in group or you're currently in group, mm -hmm. uh, we do have these like once a month things you can do with a yeah. counselor to try to touch yeah, base great, and, and really get that extra layer. And, and here's, here's why we would even suggest that is because uh, us sitting here, I mean, Nick, you're in the middle of certification uh, through ITAP. I'm not certified. I know, Rich, you're not certified through ITAP. We're not clinicians. So to have somebody who is that expert who can be the guide for recovery, 
um, that could be, you know, because I think, Rich, you're a great group leader and have been leading groups for a long time. You probably are, I mean, you are a world-class pure desire group leader. Um, you may not have that, and it doesn't mean that that diminishes the value of the group that you're in, but to have that expertise of someone who's been walking people through this stuff for decades can be super helpful. So I think that's just another thing I practice. Maybe look into that.